Hello and welcome. Let's play Hearts of Iron 4 as Albania. I'm still live on Twitch. And um, we have a, a poll going on to select my first playthrough. But I guess my very first is as Albania, but um, I don't know if um, this is gonna last for very long. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. For now, let's watch what's going on in China. The end of the Spanish Civil War. All that. I was trying to avoid playing a very big country, but you guys decide, I guess, what you want to see. Okay, let's check these dudes. They are deployed now. The world threat, world threat, or world tension is now up to 43%. Okay, let's let's see the battle plan now. I think it's a good time to uh, create. Not exactly a battle plan, plan, but use, give a commander to these guys. So by selecting, by selecting the divisions and right-clicking in the, this portrait here, I automatically assign all the divisions to this commander. So I now need to give it, give them um, a leader. He's, he's skill 1, so he gives five, plus 5% five on the attack and plus 5% efficiency on the defensive. These guys are trained, but, but if we tell them to, to train on the map, they will gain um, more experience that's gonna make them fight much better. Anyway, we still have a division here. Let's that is not a mountaineer. Let's upgrade them. Um, we only have to select change the division template. So it's now uh, those dudes are now a mountaineer division. Yeah, let's tell them to exercise. Exercise. They are going to do some push-ups. This is gonna increase their experience, so they will eventually be um, uh, regulars. While they're doing this, we might lose some equipment, but it's not a huge deal. Okay, support weapons. Let's go with level 2. How many guns do we have? Surplus? Not much. I guess let's let's see how's the How's the artillery? We don't have artillery. Let's research artillery now. I'm gonna build some artillery, I think. Uh, man, I mean, the artillery is cool, but... But it's so expensive. Okay, let's let's keep researching the infantry stuff.
372 political power. Okay. We've just built... We've just built... Um, um, factory. Either that or um, the dudes in Greece decided not to trade with us anymore. Yeah. So let's trade with someone else. Soviet Union. Okay. Actually, let's cancel these. And trade only with the Soviets. Japanese did an amphibious invasion over here and over there. This is still ahead of time, so let's research it. I mean, we only have infantry, but basically, so I guess it's worth it. So that we can start building better weapons. Okay, let's check something. So, when the war with um, Italy breaks out, I want to use scraping of the barrel. I'm gonna go instantly to that. So we have 450. We have already the 450 influence to do it. But this is so bad for factory output for production that I want that I don't want to be here for very long I guess for now in this version of the game it's this is still allowed but I don't know I guess we'll see how this goes I don't think what I'm gonna do is intended but I'm gonna do it anyway Piper is asking how does the national focus work? Well, for example, the national focus on Japan is just this is also similar to the missions in EU4. For example, the the Japanese Unlock this Chinese border incident and instantly went uh, to unlock uh, um, this one here, war with China, so they could declare war on China. So the major powers have their own tree where they can unlock stuff probably to keep them on track somewhat historically so let's check Japan reinforce the Soviet border modern expansion gains conquer on the United Kingdom on the Netherlands yep basically this is this is uh, similar to the missions in EU4 where we can gain CBs. Of course, then there's um, other stuff, useful stuff, like 
Do I add two military factories? More useful? More than the economy? Yep, basically. For example, as Albania and um, all the other countries that are not major countries, they all share the same tree. This one. So this, this was invaluable. This one, industrial effort. This one's not so much. But this one and this one, they're uh, amazing. Especially the industry. Okay, just waiting for a declaration of war by Japan. Uh, sorry, by Italy. Found our faction is the best, says Ogan Roland. But there's some requirements there. It requires more than 50 factories. Someone. Oh. Same thing here, we could unlock another research slot if we had more than 50 factories. We don't, so that's off limits. <laughs> of course, what I'm gonna do here can also be done with other countries, bigger countries where you have millions millions of um, citizens so we can recruit millions of manpower Infantry support weapons. Let's go with better mountaineers. Okay, um, unique agreement. The Czechs just lost the Sudet land. I think if this is just like. Yep. France and Britain announce alliance. Okay, they're now allied. Shooting machine. Okay, let's go to the support or to one of these doctrines. I'm not sure what doctrine, what land doctrine should I choose. This one is more for um, tanks and mobile forces. We don't have them, so let's let's see what every one of these options does so mot motorized mechanized mostly uh, motorized mechanized or tanks well this is interesting Recruitable population plus 
This one would actually be interesting. Interesting plus 20% soft attack for all frontline battalions. Leg infantry plus 10% organization. All infantry and motorized defense plus 20%. Increases the soft attack of of um, the regiments, artillery, and um, every other, every, all other regiments. So mostly, this increases the soft attack. Some hard attack too. Then we have the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine, which gives um, bonuses for the battle plans. Max max planning plus 30%. I think this translates into a bonus of 30%. So it, it improves, improves the efficiency of the divisions by 30%, which is a lot. Breakthrough plus 10%. Basically, breakthrough is like def defensiveness, but um, when when you are on the offensive, breakthrough lets you duck the the shots fired at you. This is very in interesting. Land Night Attack plus 25% is very good. Don't know, maybe we'll go with the Grand Battle Pen Doctrine, not sure. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for an actual playthrough. I guess we need artillery, so let's go with the artillery. How will you stop the Italian invasion? Is initiative asking in the Twitch chat? I don't think the Italians are gonna <laughs> are gonna win, but I may be wrong. Okay, we're getting there. The year is 1938, oh, month October. We have almost the needed influence. <clears throat> so we can safely research something else like this. I need more resources because the factory that we were building is now ready. We now don't have any civilian factories. Hello Tip, welcome. J Tip is saying Japan has too much difficulty with China, it seems. Yep. I think... I think it's more than that, but... I guess we'll see.
745 points. Oh, I completely forgot about my dude's training, didn't I? Okay, <laughs> they're, they're training uh, needlessly now, so they're now regulars. This gives a plus 25% modifier in combat. If Italy attack now, these guys would be toast. Fortunately, they didn't attack. They did not attack. Okay. Um, I guess since Italy is taking its sweet time, let's see if we can improve our economy some somehow. Our country somehow. Nope. We don't have tanks, nor boats, nor airplanes. Artillery or small arms? Division defense plus 10%. Sounds good. Nope. Let's go with this for now. It reduced the consumer goods, so now we have um, civilian factories. Let's build another civilian factory. So, because consumer goods also require civilian factories. Not much to say. The world tension is still at 41%. There we go, we have artillery now. At least we know how to build it. Let's continue to improve the artillery. We may build a few. Just for giggles. So if you're watching here on Twitch, on Twitch. Don't forget that there's a, a poll going on to select my next campaign of Hearts of Iron 4. The poll is gonna end at the end of this episode. So, Germany just took Mammal. Infantry equipment too. Let's go with the production efficiency. And I'm actually going to change this. 
though you're producing 40 rifles, it's gonna go down by a lot, but it's eventually it will eventually recover the efficiency. But what matters is now we, that we now have better weapons. There we go. Italy wants to declare war. They're fabricating a war a, a CB. Italy is justifying a war against us. So it's gonna start soon. Okay, let's let's see. What should we research next? Uh, break on clearly, because that's what our divisions have at the moment. Terminal status is asking, can you ally Germany so they won't? Yeah, I could. It's probably the best move, actually. If I join this faction, if I join Germany, they might not declare war. However, because in this in this um, version of the game, in Hearts of Iron 4, we can leave factions. However, I just want to see how this plays out. That's probably uh, on their focus tree. Somewhere ar around here is... or not, I don't know. Well, they're fabric rating, so probably not. But I was trying to see if some of, the, some of these had to, uh, had to do with Albania. Probably not, because they're fabricating. Okay, the ultimate ultimatum should be should be coming at any moment now. It takes a, a lot, a very long time to fabricate a justification for war. He's saying, I want to see some battles, Mark. Start a war. I am going to start a war. That's the plan. But um, that's going to happen in the next episode. Because I'm going to take a break. Thanks for watching. And um, I hope to see you soon. Take care.